Hi, I'm George, and we'll be doing this caricature style image right here. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Check out my channel for a bunch more Photoshop Elements videos. If you want to learn everything about Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course. There's a link for that right down there in the description. And get this thing going. Let's just go back to the original image. I'll just open that up right here. I have mine right in my recent file list, of course. But you can also download this image from my website if you want to. There's a link for that in the description. Let's just close that other one out of the way. There we go. Now the first thing we need to do is to straighten the image up. And that's because we're going to be using a facial feature tool here in Elements. It's Elements 15 and later. If you don't straighten the image, it won't find the face. It's just a, a problem with that. So I'm going here to the Straighten button right here. And then click over here outside of the left side eye and pull a line that's at the same level across the eyes like that. Let go. Choose OK. It converts the layer to layer zero, which we'll also need. And it straightens the image out onto that level for the eyes. That's perfect. We also need to fill in this triangle up here, upper right hand corner. That's also easy to do. Grab the magic wand, click into that area. Go up here to edit, come down to fill selection and you want content aware fill right here. Choose OK. It just fills that in. I use control D to deselect that. And if you see a little line like we have right here, we can fix that very easily. And that's just using the healing brush tool right there. Find a brush size that's just big enough to handle that and then just brush over that line and it gets rid of that. We're going to remove that background anyway, so that's just to make it a bit easier to see is all I'm doing there. Okay, good enough. Now we need to crop in on the image. We're only really just doing the head. We don't need anything else. So let's come down here to the crop tool. I have mine set up for a ratio of five by seven. It's just standard image ratio. Grab the corners and pull that in. Leave it up at the top up there and then pull in the bottom until you have a nice range there for the image. And then her eyes and nose basically centered inside the picture right in there. Everything else looks pretty good. Choose OK. We can then zoom in on that to fit screen right there. Now, a couple of times during this training, I'm going to be saving out safety layers, a habit I'm into if I'm working on something where I'm doing a lot of adjustments on an actual image. I'll just go ahead and save layers on occasion. I'll do one right now. Just right click, duplicate layer, choose OK, and then it's called the bottom one safety. There we go. That way, you know, I'm not using that for anything. It's just a safety layer, so I can hide that and leave that one alone. OK, let's go up here. This is our new background image layer. And then we're going to clear out the background and replace that background. So I'll go over here, left-hand side, grab the lasso tool. I'll just make a quick and easy lasso right around this figure. You can go outside for the area that's outside of the image like that. And then don't worry about those little wispy hairs. We'll take care of that in just a second. Up around here, back to our beginning. Looks good. I have my feathering set at one pixel. Click on Refine Edge. And then using your brush, this is the default size, which is 35. That's right there. Just bring that just inside of that edge. You see mine has that kind of a red background. That's over here where it says View, and I have my set at Overlay. I just found it the easiest one to use, and I almost always use Overlay on this. And just brush along the hair. We'll clean this up in just a moment once this step is done. And let's go clear on that edge. This just helps Photoshop Elements to go in there and really clean that edge up and make the edge as good as possible. Now in the wispy hairs, you can brush into the wispy hair like that. If you're down here, brush up into the hair. You can see that red going up into the hair. That means it's working out perfectly. And then right around here. Okay, that's all we need there. Where it says Output 2, change the Output 2 here to New Layer with Layer Mask. Choose OK. And there's our layer mask. Now notice how it's a little bit kind of faded right along that edge. We want to clean that up. And for that, we'll use the Burn tool, which is over here. And it's right down there. I have mine set for mid-tones. Exposure at 50% so it doesn't go too fast. And then switch over here to the layer mask side. Just click over there, look for that light blue outline. And then brush in here right on the layer mask. And we're just making that more contrast along those edges. And that tends to hide that little kind of foggy stuff in there. That's all we need to do. It doesn't need to have much. Just work around the edge and get rid of anything that's kind of foggy. And we'll go clear on the other side over here. It's a bit right in here I want to do bit better right there. Down this side and then right in here. We're going to fix that with a little bit right there in just a second. Okay, again, doesn't take much. That looks pretty good. Now for this spot right here and right here, I think I can just erase that. So switch over here to the paintbrush. Use the black paintbrush. Again, find a nice brush size. That's a pretty good brush size right here. And then just paint black right on the layer mask. 
and that allows you to actually hide anything you don't want to have in there. Now let's get just a little bit of that stuff in there. Looks pretty good. So okay around the top. I think we're okay. Maybe right down here just a touch right there. Okay, that is good. At this point, I'm going to make another safety layer just in case. We'll be doing some changing here on the face. So I want to have a safety layer of that one. So right click, duplicate layer, choose OK, rename this one safety, call it safety two if you want to, and then hide that layer. OK, now let's replace the background. Come down to graphics right there. Change this over here to backgrounds. I'm in by type and backgrounds. And then if you go about two thirds of the way down the list, you can see it's way up here. Scroll down about two thirds of the way, and you'll see it coming in its left hand side, and it's kind of a medium dark green right there. Click on that one, and it'll give this nice green background. Now, if you see a little corner like that little blue corner, that means that you haven't downloaded that background yet from Adobe. If you see that blue corner, make sure your internet connection is currently active, and then click on that or double click on that. It will then download that. It just takes just a moment or two. Downloads that from the Adobe website to send on your computer to use whenever you want to in the future. So there's our new background. Okay, back to layers right here. Back up to our top layer. Let's now do our caricature effects on the face itself. Make sure on the left-hand side, look for that light blue outline. Looks good. Over here to enhance, come down to adjust facial features. Now it should find your face just like that. That's why we straighten the photos so that this tool would find the face. If we left the face where the eyes were kind of at an angle, this tool may not find the face. So this is an important step. Okay, now come down here, we'll do the eyes first. You can increase the height, we'll go all the way to the top, increase the width all the way to the top, increase the size all the way to the top. I'm gonna to do a little bit of a tilt here. You can adjust it if you want to, and I'll bring the distance in just a little bit like that. If this was one to 100, about 25% for the distance and about 75% for the tilt. It's just a visual thing. You know, play around with that. It's going to depend upon the picture you're using. All these things are just what works out for me for this particular picture. So when you get another picture, play around with these things until you get just the look that you want. Okay, so now come down to the nose. I'm gonna make the nose just smaller. I'll just remove the height and the width like that, make it smaller. On the face, you can make the chin longer or shorter. I'm gonna make it just a little bit shorter, like about 25 right here. On the jawbone, you can go wider or skinnier. I'm gonna go all the way to the skinnier side on the left right here. On the forehead, you can go up or down. I think up is a bit more of a caricature kind of look to that. And on the face width, you can go skinnier or wider. I'm going to go all the way to the side there. And this is more of a basic caricature kind of look. And choose OK. Now we'll be using this one, but I want to show you an interesting trick if you want to. You can take this further by going up here to Enhance, coming down to Adjust Facial Features right here. And you can do it again if you want to. Let's say Eyes, and notice I can go even larger on the eyes at that point. So you can go further than we're doing here in this one step. Just apply that same tool a second time for even more exaggeration. Okay, here's our basic caricature look on that. You can see that if I bring in the other picture here and we'll just show and hide, there's the original, here's our caricature. So looking good. We now need to bring down any facial texture. So for that, go up here to enhance, come down to smooth skin. This is a new feature that just came in just a couple of versions ago. It's a fairly recent feature. Take a smoothest control, go all the way to the right, choose OK. It just kind of softens down anything which is not more of a line, so it smooths out the skin. We'll do that one twice. Now, if you don't happen to have that tool, again, if you have an earlier version of Photoshop Elements, you can use the Blur tool, which is right over here, or you can use the Smudge tool, which is right down here, and just kind of go over it and soften things up And there's a bit more work that way, but it can be done just working around and just smoothing out the skin. We'll just do this a second time. Enhance, come down to smooth skin. Again, go clear the right on that one. Choose OK. So we just hit that two times. You can see we now have a real kind of a plastic look in there, which is perfect for us. OK, go back to my move tool there and then right click on this layer and duplicate the layer. Choose OK. You can see why I was making safety layers as I went on here because we're doing a lot of adjustments on the actual image itself. And just in case you mess up, you can always go back to an earlier step and start over again at that point. It saves you some work if you need to redo anything. Okay, for this, let's now add an effect onto this. Go up here to Filter, come down to Filter Gallery. And the first one we'll do here is this one. It's inside of the Artistic section and it's Poster Edges. In the setting I'm using for this picture, an edge thickness of 10, edge intensity of one, posterization of one. You can play around with these and get a little different effects. Choose OK. There it is. Now we need to blend this in with a layer underneath. Go up here to the blend mode and come down to screen. 
that just blends those two together. And what this actually does, if I hide that and show that, and see we've now gained in some hardness or crispness along those edges. It's also gotten a little bit lighter. We'll adjust that and adjust those values as it goes a bit further on down here. So that brings it back in some of those edges we want. Now I do something else to increase our edges even more. Come back down to this layer, right click, duplicate layer, and that's the top one that's visible. Everything else is just hidden except for the background. Choose OK. Take that new layer, push it up to the top like that. Go up here to Filter, come down to Other, and choose High Pass. On the High Pass filter, set this to 6 pixels. Choose OK. Go up to Enhance, come down to Adjust Color right here, and Remove Color. So it's now just a black and white image or grayscale image. We now need to increase the contrast a bit here. So we'll do that with an Adjustment Layer. Layer, come down to New Adjustment Layer and Brightness Contrast, where it says use previous layer, check that checkbox, choose OK. Take your contrast, go all the way to the right, and then on Brightness, you can back it down just a little bit if you want to. I'm going to set mine at negative 20. Just kind of darkens things down a bit. You can play around with this and see what looks good for you. So here's before and after, a bit more contrasty in there. Close that down. We'll now blend this layer into the layers underneath, so same idea on blending. Go up here to your layer right there, and then this time we'll come down here to the vivid light. That blends that in and that gives us even darker hard edges. If I hide that layer, you see that there's soft and a lot darker. So it really enhances those kind of cartoony drawn edges. Okay, last little thing I want to do now is just to adjust the overall values of the picture. And for that, go up here to the top layer, make a new layer above this. Nothing goes on this layer. This just helps you separate out this new adjustment layer from everything else underneath. Go up to layer, come down to new adjustment layer and levels right there. Don't check that checkbox, choose OK. We can now apply levels adjustments to the whole picture. You can darken down your darks by bringing your left side in like that, brings a bit more contrast that way. Now bring it down fairly low here. It's come down to about 68 or 69, maybe 65 I think right there, looks good. And then adjust your midtones in here with the middle control, bring it up a little bit. Somewhere around the 1.37 is pretty good. The right hand side, this would make your bright brighter. We don't need that, so leave the right hand side alone. And there it is. Let's just see how this looks compared to the original. That's down here where it says safety. I'll pull that to the very top. I'll show that. There's the original and there's our caricature. Okay, if you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button, click on share, click on subscribe. Check out my channel, of course, for more great Photoshop Elements videos. Take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. Link again is right down there in the description, and I'll see you next time.